Russian oil imports in an attempt to put pressure on Putin and the country. Meanwhile, the Foreign Secretary Liz Truss will travel to the United States to discuss energy matters with her counterpart, Antony Blinken. Well, our GB News political correspondent Tom Harwood joins us in the studio now. What, what's this meeting all about? What can we expect? What's the best we can expect? Well, really, this is about coordinating what is an extraordinary move that people even a week ago would not have expected, particularly from the UK and the US. The US, a relatively immediate ban on importing oil and gas. The UK, by the end of 2022, uh, ban on importing Russian oil. And the EU saying by the end of the decade, stopping importing Russian oil and gas. Obviously, the EU much more dependent than the UK and the US. Yeah. But this I mean, Biden recognises that, doesn't he? It's, he, yeah. certainly, he certainly does. And, and many people have recognised that, for example, countries that produce their own oil and gas, like the UK, like Canada, like yeah. America, yeah. Um, have uh, an, almost an easier time on this. But really, in terms of allowing this transition, there needs to be greater global supply. So it's really important that the UK works with the US in reaching out to new partners elsewhere in the world and seeing which alliances need to be strengthened. So I, it's I, Saudi Arabia I, yes. or... This, where, where, do, where do all these greenhouse promises go to, all these um, climate uh, change conferences and whatever it is? Can we forget all these targets? Well, I, the Prime Minister just two days ago was saying that we might need to be a little bit slower on our road to net zero, at least initially, although the, the messaging from government and indeed from the Biden administration has also been twofold. It has been both saying that we need a greater domestic reliance on domestic uh, generation of hydrocarbon forms of energy, but also it to some extent makes the case for the transition to net zero in that as long as a country is dependent on hydrocarbons, there will be nefarious regimes around the world that you need to be dealing with. And to some extent, although this is not a short term strategy, but a medium to long term strategy, it means you need to build more zero carbon nuclear energy. It means you, it means you need more hydroelectricity. Mm. It means you need potentially more wind, more solar as well.